When a show forces you to question your own beliefs, not to serve an agenda or to make you change your mind, but just to make you think again, that's when you know it's doing something great. Few shows have managed to portray violence as both a necessary evil and a means of communication as effectively as Mr. In Between. The show, a darkly comedic exploration of the life of a hitman, Ray Shoesmith, offers a nuanced look at the role of violence in society. I just don't think violence is the answer, you know? Sometimes it is. Ray Shoesmith isn't your conventional TV character. He is a father, a lover, a friend, and also a professional criminal, a hitman, a thug. Anything else? <sighs> no, that's it. He lives in the crevices of society, delivering violence when the script requires it. Oh, and showcasing how sometimes chaos can breed order. Ray is a walking contradiction, an anti-hero with a moral compass. And through his paradoxical nature, we are presented with a question. Is violence always wrong? Or are there circumstances where it becomes a necessary response, an inevitable reaction to the world's inherent injustices? Well, they'll be an assholes. The world is full of assholes, right? You do realise that. Yeah, and you know why? Why? Because people let him get away with it. Ray's relationship with his daughter, Brittany, exposes his gentle side, a stark contrast to his usual demeanour. In this, we witness an oxymoronic dance between love and violence, a dance it seems Ray is all too familiar with. Yet, Ray's actions are not without consequences. His violent choices often lead to isolation, pain and loss. This tightrope walk between violent action and repercussion forms a core thematic aspect of the show. What the fuck you, Gary? What the fuck happened? Fuck you, Gary! I wasn't dead. Oh, thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Bullet must have ricocheted off his skull. Adding a dash of dark humour, the creators weave a narrative that's as entertaining as it is thought-provoking. Mr. In Between takes us on an audacious exploration of moral and ethical ambiguities through Ray's life as a hitman and ordinary man. It's an intersection of two worlds, two paradigms, two lives that shouldn't mix, but do. Cool, all right. Well, don't, don't use my uke, please. My nan gave me that. Uh, happy? Yeah. Throughout the series, violence is presented as an instrument. An instrument of power, of control, of necessity. But also an instrument of dialogue, expressing what words often cannot. It's not the glorification of violence we see, but the examination of it. Mr. In Between plays with our expectations, daring us to empathise with a character who, in any other scenario, would be the villain. In the strange world of Ray Shoesmith, we find ourselves caught in the crossfire, questioning our own perspectives on right and wrong. Which brings us to the question, is violence the answer? Can you give me one example of violence ever working? World War II? World War II. Mm -hmm. We didn't beat the Nazis just by talking to them. We used violence. Okay, sure. So every now and then, violence is necessary as a last resort. But for you, uh, with your girlfriend's brother, 
I mean, would you call that an example of violent working? Yeah, look, I shouldn't have done what I did. You know, I'm not making excuses, but I don't think you can say that all violence is bad. I mean, I think there's good violence and bad violence. In the world of Mr. Inbetween, the answer is never simple, but it is certain that violence, as dark and destructive as it can be, is a complex and integral part of Ray Smith's life. It's a study on how brutality can be entwined with humanity and how, in certain lights, violence can be seen as the answer, albeit a morally complex and ethically challenging one. In the end, Mr. Inbetween leaves us with more questions than answers, as often great shows do. But it's in these questions that we find the true essence of this grip and show. After all, who better to question our morals than a hitman with a heart, who, amidst the chaos and violence, finds his own peculiar sense of peace?